Good afternoon on the Great Calf Adventure Day 4. They are doing amazing, amazing, amazing. We have our cute neighbors here today, um, Irene and Kaisten. And Kaisten is uh, out hunting things in the yard. <laughs> and he's going to feed a baby today. So kind of fun. Yay! They're so cute. Do um, you worry about them not surviving? I yes, know you talked you, about that. Yeah, there's been quite a concern. Really? Um, that they it. Here, bud. But they're doing ah, so like great. Missy, hurry. If you want to see a polo, you have to hurry. You can feed him somewhere else. I can't. I'm going to be next. Aww. Good job, buddy. Isn't that fun? <laughs> <laughs> so, which one's Artemis? This Artemis. One. Yeah, this guy Make over sure here. It's a girl. Girl, sorry. Artemis and then Apollo. Artemis and Apollo. Ah, this is so hard. <laughs> he's just trying to... You, he's sucking air. You gotta make sure he gets the milk. Okay. There you go. <laughs> Mom, she comes back here. Here, hand it to me. No, oh, hi, baby. Boy, Sam, you, can't, you can't follow it. You have to make sure you it's safe as Oh, Sam, I'm good. Sam, you don't follow it. Oh, look. Oh, there's a chicken. She always finishes faster, but you normally separate them. But. All right. Yum. really fun to have neighbors come visit um, when the road broke out front that they're fixing right now um, that's the first time I've met them so it kind of brought the events about to meet them anyway so really nice to finally after two years meet my neighbors so that's great they're good people I'm glad to know that they're around so and it was fun to share these baby calves with their little guy so kind of fun they're very alert very active um, just cute. And I'll have to update you on our trees too. They're starting to get little baby roots on the bottom. And um, that was from our willows. You'll have to check out that video. We'll link to that in the description. So in getting these calves, the thing that I thought would be the most difficult isn't what is the most difficult. So mixing their milk has been a little bit of a debate, a little bit of a controversy. I, I, you know, I'm trying to figure out exactly what to do. In day two, I explain how I mix their milk and what I'm doing, um, and therein lies the debate. So um, on the instructions, it says to mix 12 ounces to two quarts of water, 12 ounces of the milk replacer. So I did that. However, in the mixing directions, it says very specifically, always weigh milk replacer for accurate um, mixing. So I got out my handy dandy kitchen scale and um, weighed it and we were closer to two and a half cups as opposed to the one and a half cups that I was going to do based on the ounces. Um, so I, we've had a few comments on that, kind of debating on what to do with that. Um, my mom called and was a little concerned, and I appreciate the concern. Um, math is not necessarily my strong suit. So um, we di I did also call the vet, you know, because I want to make sure we're doing this correctly. Um, they also, she said flat out on the phone, she says, well, this has been a topic of debate here as well. So they said, well, I don't know, kind of do something in between. I don't want to do in between. I want to do what's best for the calves. So I want to pose that question to you. What do I do? You know, do I stick with what I'm doing? They're not constipated. They are thriving. They don't have diarrhea. I mean, everything seems good. So do I just stick with what's working? Um, how much do you suggest to feed a calf in a day? You know, it does talk about small breeds and large breeds, 2.3 quarts twice daily. So I don't know, 
people that have raised you you awesome people that have raised calves um, bottle calves what have you done you know any suggestions we would greatly appreciate it um, help us figure out this debate <laughs> thank you everyone for joining us on day four of the great calf adventure we appreciate your comments and support it's been great I figured it out I know how we can do a live broadcast and so uh, this Friday 5 p.m. mountain standard whatever time. standard time I guess it is <laughs> yes we're gonna do a live Q&A we've gotten a lot of questions I hope we have time to answer them all we're gonna limit our broadcast to at max an hour and Unless I get chatty and can't get off, we'll just have to see how so that goes. So we'll cover as many <laughs> of those questions, great questions that you've, you've all submitted to us. And hopefully you find it entertaining. We're kind of excited just to interact with uh, an audience that uh, has been leaving great comments oh. and supporting us along the way. So 5 p.m. Mountain Standard Time on Friday, this Friday, the 31st. Yeah, the 31st. So, get your questions in before uh, 4 p.m. Give me time to set up and get ready. So. so, hopefully our internet has a tendency to be on a roller coaster. So, I mean, barring any internet issues, we will be there. Will you? <laughs> See you then.